We end this autumn evening with A Spring Awakening. It's a century-old play about teenagers coming of age. But Michelle Miller tells us this production has a real-life subplot about a 20-something making Broadway history. It's not easy keeping pace with Allie Stroker. The 28-year-old is rushing to work. Linda McHugh. Handing out free theater tickets and making some last-minute backstage preps. Mama, for me, mama. All as she prepared to debut as the first person in a wheelchair to perform on the Great White Way in the revival of Spring Awakening. I never saw anyone in a chair on Broadway. So I had this dream and I wanted to make it happen, but nobody had ever done it. So there was this part of me that was like, Okay, I'm not going to get my hopes up because maybe it's not possible. Stroker has rolled over most barriers in her life. She was just two years old when a car accident left her paralyzed from the chest down. Five years later, she caught the acting bug. I was little a little girl, girl in a wheelchair. And then when I started to perform, I felt like... I was now an actress and a singer, and it gave me another identity, and it made me feel really good. Stroker's wowed audiences from New Jersey's Paper Mill Playhouse to, to the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. No satin sheets, I think. Stroker said she had to make casting directors feel at ease, choreographing her own movements to match the cast. In Spring Awakening, Stroker also had to learn sign language. Half the cast is hearing impaired. It creates this different lens and it adds such a layer of vulnerability to this show that's already so raw and real. Castmate and Emmy Award winner Cameron Mannheim. I learn something from her all the time. What is it like to be on stage with her? Because she is a force to be reckoned with, totally. Allie truly embodies a fierce woman, brave, courageous, unstoppable. She's a dame, man. That girl is a broad. <laughs> That's what she is. As the child leads the way to a dream of belief. Stroker says she's turned most obstacles into opportunities and has no plans to slow down. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.